okay as after uh, jQuery is already set let's uh, use a widget so uh, for setting up jQuery we just require these three lines in fact this line will be link not style link we don't need this here it is so this is the final setup of our jQuery these three lines and their respective uh, files on correct paths uh, after that let's uh, set up a widget uh, for starting let's close the widget close to widgets uh, for start it uh, as a word uh, demonstration file is a form so date quicker will be the best one to choose this is the date picker we will implement it for our form just go to view source and you will just need this thing nothing else copy so as our form don't have a date field uh, we can implement this on any field but uh, uh, let's add a date field formal input field for date date my date just my date let's name it my date and uh, it's a good idea to have an ID same as name so after we have the date field in place so after you have your form and your field you just do not have to do anything else just paste the kind of oh sorry just copy the source the javascript part paste it here and uh, uh, this is hash date picker this is uh, the uh, ID of the field uh, which is will be being used for the date so you will just have to change it to my date date picker is the function which will call the date uh, the calendar thing and uh, uh, you can use with either hash my date or just my date will be uh, which will be uh, its name here we will be using the its ID calling it by ID so we'll be, we'll be using Hash my date. Just save it and uh, refresh the page. Click here. There you go. You have the calendar. So this is this is just simple calendar you have added. Uh, you, and you can go for more options, uh, which you will find here. uh there is a change month change year these are uh, useful options here on our calendar we don't have option to yes we have option to go to next month or i we can change the months but we can jump to a specific one so if we choose to use is a change month thing so you will just be using the options like this for example change months to let's give it a space and here we have here we have the change of month options similarly we can change it further by adding the change 
your option let's say yes change your true don't need this just refresh you have change month change year both of them and uh, we have much more of options which you can look into and use these are uh, many options including the animation and lots of other things we will look into them uh, when we will do the specific video for um, calendar and other widgets for now we have uh, set up our jQuery so it's just uh, about putting the files on correct locations and then specifying them and uh, this simple thing is uh, equivalent to javascript uh, call by ip uh, call by id thing get element by id this just creates it uh, an object but you don't have to use that uh, traditional javascript thing okay that's it for the today's tutorial uh, we will come up with much more just keep commenting and reviewing the videos uh, so we can uh, come up with even better thing be a better style see ya